Dale Matthews grants pass. This is a funny kind of public hearing. It's 35 minutes in. You've had one. And you're person. wasting your three minutes. Speaking. Yes, I, I'm, so let's, let's I'm perfectly capable of managing my own time. You should manage yours because it's 35 minutes in. You've heard from one person. This happened last time, 30 minutes from the board. This is not a public hearing. I think an opportunity for it's, presentation is Thank you for stopping to interrupt me. I will. And we all have tasks. You, you, are, you are symbolic in what you're doing now, sir. So I'm speaking about this public hearing where it's a good idea to actually hear from the public. Thank you. I have a lot in common with the people from SOS that are here. I have a lot in common with the people who believe that we need a levy to support our county services. I have a lot in common with them because I believe that we need to have more sheriff's patrols. I, need, I believe that we need to have people support their community. But the reason that we have so much in common is that we believe that's where the money should go. Now, it's not going to go there with this proposal. I sit through all the meetings, and I've heard you talk very carefully with legal counsel. Let's be less specific about where this money is going to go. Let's, when the money comes in, let's dump it into the general fund. And once we've got that money, then it's like we're writing you a blank check. Then you can spend it any way that you want to. You've, people need to look at the ballot measure very carefully. Everything that you're looking at on pieces of paper, saying, gee, I don't know what I'm going to say when I get up there, or I'm going to rehearse now in my mind what I'm going to say, it doesn't matter. Because none of the numbers are real. It, that one three-letter word, may, when you get this money in, it may go for this, it may go for that. You could follow the advice the state gave you and say, well, mention, mention the security of children. It doesn't mean a single dime, and you've said this. I was there when you said it. Just because we put it on the list doesn't mean a single penny, your words, is going to go to that. Oh, well, we can't guarantee what the sheriff is going to do. We could get a guarantee out of the sheriff. That's easy. Say, sheriff, you guarantee it will go this way, this way, and this way, or you'll resign. It would be simple to get promises, but you're not going to promise. It doesn't matter that anybody gets up here and is passionate about children, about animals, about protection, about grandma, it doesn't matter because you're going to take all the money in our blank check and throw it into a big vat and then decide after you've gotten the money what you're really going to do. We're not deceived. We're not fools. I'm sitting there and I'm listening to you parse words. What does 24-7 mean? Well, it means 24 hours, but it doesn't mean seven days a week. I mean, it could be 24 hours on Mondays and Tuesdays. Except 24-7, you missed this, actually means seven days a week. You didn't get that point. Mr. Matthews, I'm, I'm, you're done. You will be asked to leave. Your opportunity to speak is the three minutes. That's it. And the board will respond. May I respond right now? Not until he sits down. <laughs> Not until I sit down. I've been one of those folks that's voted no against all the previous levies. I've been looking for something to grab onto, and Simon here gave it to me. Uh, he's, I spent some time with him, and I think he's actually working to obtain funding uh, besides property taxes. And I'm, I'm really impressed with that. Um, I had, uh, <clears throat> let's see, well, I wrote all kinds of notes, but I can't read my writing. <laughs> if I could read, well, I'd have all kinds of stuff to say. Uh, I guess the, let's see, yeah, that's, that's the difference between the previous levies and this one. We've got somebody working with us, or for us, not just uh, saying, okay, um, Give us a tax district, and uh, this will be a permanent tax rate, and we're not going to do anything for you. And then pat everybody on the back and say, well, we got that, that tax hike through. You know, if we need more, we'll go back. But uh, Simon's actually working for us. Uh, let's see. It'd be, uh, I think also, well, if we did the flat tax, then I think the dollar forty-eight per thousand would be a non-issue. Dollar forty-eight per thousand sounds like a lot, 
it sounds closer to a buck fifty, two bucks. Uh, if you don't go with the flat tax, I think it'd be easier to get through. If you could get it knocked down a little bit, maybe in the dollar twenty-eight range, it sounds more like a dollar. Kind of like when you go buy gas, it's always a dollar ninety-nine ninety-nine, and you think, oh, it's only a buck for gas. <laughs> Throw in another penny, it won't be, but that's what you see. Um, I don't want to cut you off, Mr. Hargan, but the buzzer did happen, and um, I think you've got a good point about that. I'll, I'll just kind of address a couple of things. That, frankly, the last proposal at $1.99 was fairly arbitrary. It was trying to get to what you were talking about under $2. The, the balance of the board last time was really going for the $2.25. I just thought there's, there's no way that's going to pass, and we frank, frankly needed it then. Otherwise, we were going to see this dramatic reduction, which we saw. Um, and, and this time, th this number isn't, isn't arbitrary. Um, I, I proposed it based on what I thought needed for the system. Everything gets its own little part at a reduced level, significantly from where we were in 11, 12. Uh, and, and that's what we're going to need to, to, to make it work. I, you're absolutely right. $1.28 is more palatable. But I don't know where, I, where, where we take those 30 cents away and still have a functioning system, because that's going to really impact the, the level at the jail, the number of patrols that feed into that, and the district attorneys that can prosecute those lower level crimes. It makes the whole system work. Um, so I, I hear you, but this was, this was kind of where I negotiated, too. It's a real number. It's not, it's not a figment of my imagination. It wouldn't have been $1.49 or $1.45. $1.48 is what I got at. And the five years, we're, we're going to debate that, uh, whether or not it's, it's more palatable for three. I just don't want to sell the, the voters something that, you know, well, that's going to get us halfway there. And frankly, after three years, we're going to have still one leg out there that's not going to be accomplished, which is that federal forest piece, and um, and that's not truthful. And so that's that's the reality of it. And so I think I, I really appreciate your, your points on that, but I don't know how to. What I was looking at more is like it might be better to get it at a dollar twenty. Actually, flat tax thing. I think, sure. man, that that'd be great. But let's say that doesn't go. It might be better to get a dollar twenty-eight per thousand and have something that passes versus a dollar forty-eight that doesn't pass. I'm not saying the dollar forty-eight won't. I mean, um, I'm not really supporting the levy. I'm supporting you because I feel like you're working for us, and uh, you know we haven't seen a whole lot of that. I don't want to let you keep talking because you have nice things to say. But well, that's what I'm doing. I thought maybe I'd get four minutes. You know, if I can get a couple. <laughs> Mr. Matthews is putting this through, but we have our ballot measure here, <coughs> proposed, not approved, as yet. The measure would affect all parts of the criminal justice and public safety system and provide funding services, which may include, and it lists that list that we have. The reason the word may is in there is because we may negotiate privatizing, we may negotiate some other joint services, and we are going to look at those to help save money for the county. But none of that money would be diverted anywhere else. The next line says, the revenue from this measure would be used for criminal justice and public services, public safety services only. So Mr. Matthew's accusation that we can throw it in a pot and spend it any way we want is wrong. And if we were to do that, we would all deserve to be thrown out of office. I don't know where else we would spend it. I mean, yeah, this, is, I mean, this, this is the need, and this is what we are we are proposing, and this is what needs to be done for our county, which we have the best interest of the county in place. Yeah. 